Hello, my name is Jesus Castillo, and in this video, I want to talk about Ruby's inject method. Ruby's inject method. So, inject is one of my favorite and most useful Ruby methods because it, it lets you very easily add a uh, list of things. So let me show what I mean with some code, okay? So let me switch to my screen. So you should be seeing my Atom Editor. Let's say we have a list of numbers like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we want the total. We want to take 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. So you could do that like with a while loop. And something like that, and just keep counting them with a typical traditional while loop, or even an each. You can even do an each, but you will need like a total counter, and then do something like total plus one plus three plus one, etc. But and of course you will need a block. Okay. Something like that. Um, total plus number. So this, this will be with fault inject. So you can see what inject is doing for you. Okay. So we get 15. But there must be an easier way, right? Well, that easier way is called inject. So let me show you inject. Let's delete this. And now I'm going to use inject. So inject, how does it work? Well, it has two parameters. Unlike each, it has two parameters. So we have the sum, or the total if you prefer, and the actual number. So now, let, let me just show you what these are. So the total, is let me just do one at a time and n is the actual number two three four five and notice that one is missing the reason for that is that the first element from your array becomes the first element in total so right now total will be one 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 because we're not changing it. Okay. So the way this works is simply as this. Total plus n. And now we can print the result. 15. Same output. So what's happening here? So what inject does is carry over this value. Okay. So this total value becomes the next becomes the result of this operation. This could be another operation like times or minus if you want. But for this example I'm using plus. So it's doing total and remember total starts out at one because it's the first one. It could be ten and then or twenty and then it will be start at there. Okay? So it's 1 plus 2, and then that becomes 3, and the next one, let me write this down. It's 1 plus 2, plus 2, which becomes 3. Then 3 plus 3, which becomes 6. Why 3 plus 3? Because it's 3 from the total, from the carried over total. Okay, from 1 plus 1, I mean 1 plus 2. And then on the next iteration, it's 3, which is the total from before, plus the current number, which is 3. So if we continue, that becomes 6, which is our current total, plus the next, next number, which is 4. So that becomes 10. That becomes 10. Then we carry over the 10 plus 5 and that's 15. 
which is our final result. So you can see on the right, it's 15. So that, that's what inject is doing for you. It's taking your result from here and making it a new total. So uh, something like that. Okay, inject is doing this for you. So as you can see, it's pretty simple, but there are some modifications we can do to this. For example, I mentioned that the first value for total is the first element. It's equal to the first element. Well, you can also provide your own, your own. Let me show you what I mean. If I do inject zero, then the first value becomes zero. It starts at zero. And then n will be one. Let me demonstrate. You see? Before, the uh, one was missing, and now it's not missing. Let me show you that again. Puts. So two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five. So again, the reason is that I gave this a default, a starting starting value. That would be a better way to see it. Starting value, but this it needs a starting value since it doesn't have one. So it picks the first element from the array. Okay, and you can also use this for it doesn't have to be numbers. For example, we might have uh, strings like this. And we, we might want to add the, the string sizes. Okay, so the way you can do that is put numbers, inject, sorry, typo. Um, let's start with zero. Then our total or a string and then we're going to add total plus string size so what this will give us is six because the size of a is one size of bb is two and the size of ccc is three so this makes a total of six uh, you can see there, this will not be 20. So that's quite surprising. So let me hold on. Oh, okay, I see what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just seeing numbers. So my mistake. Now it should be 6. Ta da, 6. And the 6. Remember, use the accumulation, the total, the summation, whatever you want to call this, of this operation. Another name for inject is reduce. Reduce. So reduce is the same as inject, exactly the same. It's just an alias, another name for inject. So you can see that. Exactly the same. And one more variation of inject one more way to use inject is like this let me show you numbers inject this symbol so what is what is this let me comment all of that why uh, of course we need the numbers 15 still 15 so that's the same result we want here, the same result we want, we want here. So what's going on? This is a symbol, that is the plus operation. So this is a shortcut, and inject knows that if it gets a symbol like this as a parameter, notice this is a parameter, not a block. Then if we know inject knows what to do with this and if we know hey this uh, plus symbol it means you want me to take every 
one of your numbers or, and then sum them up, add, add them up and give you the result. That's what it's doing. You can also make these times and then it will multiply them. We we'll multiply 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. Okay? So that's another way to use inject. This is the shortcut way. Okay. And that's it for inject. As you can see, it's very, it can be a very useful method. And I hope this helped you. Please share it. And give me a like. And if you have any questions, you can leave me a comment or send me an email. Okay. Thanks a lot for your time. Thanks for watching.